see us this morning. We're praying, Lord, thy will be done. Let us pray. Father, we bless you on this morning. We bless you because you are our God. You are Lord, the King. You are our Keeper, our Redeemer, our Ruler, our Healer, our Helper, God. No, we are people that stand in need this morning of your help, God. Hallelujah. We rejoice in your presence, God, because we're thankful this morning to have allowed us one more day, one more privilege, one more opportunity to come before your presence, God. We thank you that we're in your house on this morning. We thank you that we're in the sanctuary on this morning. We thank you for life on this morning. Thank you for our help, God. Thank you for our strength, God. Thank you for being in our right minds, God. Thank you for 
midst of it all. Hallelujah. When you're going through, he just wants you to remember. It's something powerful about remembering the goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You look at your current situation and say, I know the Lord will make a way. certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being crippled from his mother's womb, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, stand upright on thy feet, and he and walk. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this word. This is where it's all on good ground. We understand that the word will not return void. We shall accomplish that which we have planned. 
go, but we don't know whether or not this bait is under attack as well. And she said, we're together. And, uh, that just stuck with me that there was no cameras, no
though they had shifted, hallelujah, they still had their God-given purpose. Ah, ah, you can't lose your purpose now. Oh, Shabbat, oh, poor Shabbat. This is not the time to say, well, I guess I'm not no singer no more. I guess I'm not a preacher no more. I guess I'm not a giver no more. I guess I'm not a witness no more. I guess because of the hardships of life, even in the hardship, the Bible says, and there, wherever God puts me, I'm still a man of God. Wherever God puts me into me, I'm still who God called me to do. They don't want to hear me over here, I go over here. God still uses me wherever. Hallelujah. Your purpose is attached to you. Come on up here, first lady. Put your Bible up. Hallelujah. I'm going to use an illustration. I'm playing this up. And so I want you to imagine, huh? this is me, and uh, this is my purpose. And so I'm not talking about marriage this morning. I'm talking about purpose, okay? And so what happens is when I go, when I move, and I may have to move because of hardship. Just, oh, let me clarify. No, go ahead, go ahead. Let me clarify something. Moving doesn't mean, can I be real? Moving doesn't mean I'm a punk. Moving does not mean that I'm scary catty. You mean you're going to shift? The Lord sometimes tells us to shift. Somebody say, prove it, preacher. Y'all remember when uh, Jesus was born? King Herod was what? After the babies killing all the babies? Joseph got a word. His word was not, oh yeah, you got Emmanuel, God with us. You, you got the baby child. You got God manifesting flesh. Uh, what you need to do is just stay in your ground. Let the Lord fight it. No, no. Go to Egypt. Go to Egypt. Pick up the whole family and move. Until you be given word. Let me move on. Let me move on. So they're preaching right there. Are you there with me? There they preach. What do they preach? They preach the gospel. They didn't change what they were saying. Still has the same purpose. I remember during the pandemic, we were not meeting. And I remember seeing the Smith out on Facebook going live with homeless people. And I said, man, and I, I can't, I couldn't, I couldn't say, hey, y'all, I, I didn't tell y'all to do that. That's, that's what most Christians would do. Say, I, I didn't tell y'all to do that. Y'all need to stop. I said, you know what? If they have the gall, the audacity to say, you know what, we're not having church. I'm going to have some church. And when they set up a tent, handing out, hey, what is it? Handing out some, they're not licensed. I could just, I could just stop right there. And just teach a whole nother concept. Even when your license expires. Even when man says, I didn't tell you. Even when man say you can go through my class, when you have a call, it's only inside. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not waiting for affirmation. I remember, I remember, I remember when Jennifer and I started the ministry, and I remember a pastor on the radio. The pastor on the radio was so upset. He said, all these new churches just popping up. I haven't spoken with them. I don't know where they come from. I don't know who authorized it. He was upset. He was like, how can they just come and start churches without talking to me? Without talking to us? See, there are higher powers. When God gives you orders, Okay, let me go on, let me go on. Right while they're in there, the Bible says, verse 8, there said a certain man, and this mm, certain man was right there. Mm. 
right where they were.
from the woman. Quick. But what they really saying is that you can be crippled and still walk. Right? You see somebody that's crippled, I won't demonstrate, I don't want to be offensive, but they can be crippled and still walk. So, Bible, what you, oh, the Bible makes it clear. Who has never, he's in there amongst the preached word of God with something that he's always had and never, never has ever walked. Never, never, never had this situation right. Never. God deals in the areas of our Deals with that area where we say it is impossible. It's always been like this. You can still come and hear the word of the Lord. And, 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 and his, his feet being at the bottom, so uh, in my apostolic imagination, I can see him there, and it's not like he had a disfigurement of face or blind or something where it's easily able to see, but he could have been sitting down and his feet not even visible. Mm, I look out here today and uh, I can't see your feet. I don't know what's going on. That's why it's important for the men and women of God that preach the gospel to be connected so God will show you things. Here he is, and the Bible says that even though he had this condition, even though he had this struggle, even though he had an impossible situation, the Bible says the same person heard Paul speak. Oh my God. See, you got to hear the word Church and the priest. 
while back said, I think he got a bug in my house. <laughs> because he's so clear with some things. And I, I seen folks sit beside each other looking at and so here he is killed. I had to hear my point of that story. Is I had to hear the word. That was not a time for me to be uh, uh, dreaming of other things and wondering what I'm going to cook and wondering how, what I'm going to do on Monday and wondering what I'm going to wear on this day and wondering what I'm going to watch when I get home. I had to be focused on what was being said by the one behind the sacred desk. And so I encourage you, no matter what you're going through, you have to focus, even if your phone starts ringing. They know you're at church, even if people start texting. They know where you are. You can't be distracted. You can't be walking to the, uh, uh, walking in the water all the time. You have to be set and say, look, he's about to address my situation. I, I believe the Lord is getting ready to send the word that's going to free generations. I believe the Lord's going to send the word that's going to impact my future. I believe the Lord's going to send a word that's going to bring healing in my body. And whatever I do, I know I may have this area of impossibility, but I'm going to focus on the word of the Lord. You may not like what I'm wearing this morning, but I'm going to focus on the word of the Lord. You may think I think I'm cute, but I'm going to focus on on what the man or woman of God is saying. I, I gotta be locked in. I, this is the day I, to be locked in with your preacher. How can they hear? Hey, oh, oh, oh. You gotta be locked in. I, I don't want to stay in this situation. I, I want healing. I, I want deliverance. I, I want to be set free. I, I want to go to the next level. I, please tell me what the Lord is saying. He's there. He's locked in. He's locked in. Holler at somebody say, you gotta be locked in. You gotta listen. Huh? Don't miss your word. Huh? That word huh, is for you. Huh? That word huh, is for you. Huh? You gotta be locked in. Huh? This could be the day huh, of your healing. Huh? You gotta be locked in. He's struggling. I can see him sitting there. Ha, hallelujah. Ha, I know ha, this is not his first time ha, in the house of the Lord. Ha, but he's sitting there ha, saying, will anybody ha, address what I am going through? Now I don't have no offering, but can I get help? I ain't going to give no time. But can I get help? See, y'all don't want to say nothing. Huh? I know because another church says if you don't give an offering, huh, you'll never get any help. Huh? I don't find that in the Bible. Somebody said, prove it, preacher. The woman with the issue of blood, the Bible said, the Bible said, she has spent all that she had. There goes Shabbat. She's that broke, no money in her pocket, but she's got some faith. You don't have to give me $20 to prove you have faith. You don't need to give me a $50 fee to activate your faith. If you believe, somebody jump to their feet and say, I believe God. Thank you. 
I know nobody in their family serves you, but you won't see them anymore. I can believe uh, with the best of them. Uh, when my dog was born and was breathing, uh, I believe God. Uh, until my mom's last breath, I believe God. Uh, I got my brother of the church, uh, see mama, uh, not doing well in her body. Uh, but I'm sad to tell you, uh, God is still.
can make dinner plans when you have a little fun. That's an easy stuff. It's easy to sit down at your favorite restaurant and say, Lord, I thank you for this food. Bless it. Let it be. But no, when it's spaghetti again. My daughter hates spaghetti. Bread or spaghetti. Bread, sauce, spaghetti. She hates it. Well, I don't like it. I said, you, you were with us in our struggle. You know, we can always have shrimp. And so we had, people will come over. Y'all want to come over to the house to eat? Yes. They, they even said, because we was in Japan for some months, they said, do they eat a lot of spaghetti in Japan? Y'all think that's all they They didn't know. We were financially struggling. We were hurting. It's a time when you're going through. Family call, you said, I love you. I just called and tell you they're doing such a great job. They're an awesome man and woman of God. And if you need anything, I'm here for you. Oh, that's easy time, man. Easy time. Making good grades, easy time. On your job, getting good reports, getting this of the year, that's easy time. But when? When they're coming against you. When your heart is overwhelmed. What do you want then? Lead me to the rock. That's how you play. I've been in the back not lately, but I, I remember one time I was just so sick. And I called Deacon Green in. I said, come in here and pray with me. And I was throwing up. I had something. One of those years ago had just throwing up. Drain. And he said, Pastor, get up and go home. Get up and go home. And I came and stumbled in the pool. Did anybody ever have those coughs where they shoot a little spot? Does that make sense? Yeah. That was little. Yeah. Maybe that's only me, that little. They look like they're floating. Yeah. Maybe they you know, what, what is that? But I, I was seeing those things and I'm stumbling in. And all I said, Lord, I believe you. I said, I'm trusting you. Do it, Lord. That's where I am this morning. Amen. Pastor, you have all the answers. I don't have all the answers, but I have the answers. Amen. Trust in the Lord. But all your heart. Lean not to your own eyes. In all my ways, acknowledge him. Did I make that up? That's in the word. Some trust in horses. Some trust in chariots. But we will. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord.